Hi guys, it's been a while since I've done an update, so I just thought I'd give a, a quick update uh, <laughs> while I'm out here. So uh, there's been, uh, I guess, quite a bit going on and printing all sorts of bits and pieces. I kind of set myself a bit of a challenge this year to, to print more of other people's stuff because I've tended to print mainly my stuff, so I print more of other people's stuff and that's kind of helped along the way by uh, the likes of Tom Jackson who kind of comes up with ideas for things to print for uh, for the groups and whatever. So uh, this was a, an air spinner and I'll put the, the link to this in the description of Thingiverse and that was the uh, a test of the same thing, it's a test gimbal um, of the same part and then that was the, the final version 2 I think, solid version of the part. I've actually I printed both of these completely hollow um, and I really like them, I think it'll be interesting to see how they work. Um, if I could mount them on top of the, the shed to, as like not wind vanes as such, but you know, just as a bit of a, a feature um, to blow in the wind. I've also um, printed in there's, there's a light here and that's um, sat on one of my old background stand that I used to ha uh, have some continuous light on back in the day uh, from a photography. And here's another one. So this, this is one that I prepared earlier, I guess this, they would say. I, also uh, printed uh, the, the Great Moon City and that again there'll be close up photos of that on my, my Twitter and on my Instagram. Um, it's a really good model uh, by UK Sepinem. Um, I've probably just murdered the pronunciation of his name. I'll leave the links down in the, uh, in the bottom just so that uh, we can do that. It was a really nice model. But then he'd also done the um, a new lion uh, statue model. I, I printed a, a few of these myself. So um, this is in Ice Filaments Glamorous Gold. And that, I think, was Spanahan's Marble, Marble PLA, something like that it was called. Um, not currently available from Spanner Hands, but uh, he, he may get it back in the future, hopefully. Uh, but it's a really great, uh, great one, and um, struggle to see it, I guess, in this light. But uh, again, I'll put some some close-up photos on there, and um, it, it's a proper kind of layer line hider. Joel Tellin printed the um, the pop-up basket, and I'm not saying this is perfect, but I printed the the test one in ice filaments. Gracious Green, I think this may be called. Um, just as a, a, a test of the concept, I printed this on on raft as it said to do on the instructions. I don't think I really needed to, and I think that probably um, works against it. It's, uh, the the bottom layers on the Prusa are pretty good, so it doesn't really need uh, need that assistance. Actually, you can just see over my shoulder. You can see I talked about it on the Smarag Green. Um, video. There's a the Shades Tower, which I'm, I'm really happy to have finally got going. Um, still playing about with Master Spool on and off. I've, uh, I've currently been printing through, and the I guess that model was was one of them. I've been printing with the um, 3D Print Works Half Element Passionate Purple, and uh, printed a few models with that. And I'll do I'll probably do a video just kind of talking about that, but. Uh, but you can see it is a really nice purple colour and that's on a master spool refill. I have got plans for the CR10 to get back working, I've said it before I know but I get the time just always uh, is at a premium with two young kids um, but I do now I think I have all the parts I need, I think there was quite I think possibly the stepper motor was a bit um, on the way out, it was uh, basically losing power a little bit so um, I've, re I've got a replacement for that. I've obviously got the Bontec extruder that I got from MVO Engineering. Um, that's already fitted, but obviously I have to take it off and fit it to the new extruder. And the, uh, I've also kind of done a little bit of a job on the, the leveling on there and stuff. And uh, I've now got a, a mirror on the bed instead of the glass because, uh, you know, as everybody knows, there's, there's issues with that. Uh, uh, the glass that comes with them, they tend to be bowed a little bit, so I just kind of run out on, uh, run to my limit of what I could get away with on that. So uh, that's replaced as well. So hopefully I'll uh, I'll get time to uh, to make those changes and get that get that uh, machine back in the game. It'd be awful good to to get that printed again. It's uh, it's been a while. It has to be said. And last but not least, I've gone back to working on the. Ideas for the playset, and this is the uh, latest. So this 
is the idea was this was going to be a shades so the bad guys uh, spaceship and it's a bit of a, a shuttle this this is something that was uh, not quite thought, thought through properly I don't think so I've got this uh, captured in here with a little bit of a clip um, fit and which means that you can't really use it but my idea was that when normally when I'm doing these and I'm going you know uh, showing them off and what have you they, uh, this thing always falls off so I wanted to keep that captured but then if I've actually put a bit more thought into it I could probably make this so that the um, it, so that it's got an open flat mechanism uh, the idea is that two of the Lego figures would fit in there and uh, ultimately this would kind of sit atop the um, let's try and do it from a perspective point of view so it's sit on top of the, the tower this is 100% that tower is at 50% of the, the real size so um, Hopefully that, that would be there and it kind of be an escape shuttle, uh, personal shuttle kind of thing. Um, ideally, I wanted to do the colours the other way around. So you can see there we've got filamentum gold happens and filamentum vertigo galaxy and then the gorgeous smarag green. Um, when I designed it, those uh, the gold and the galaxy were reversed and unfortunately I just didn't have enough galaxy to finish the uh, uh, the ship in that so I decided to, to reverse it and see what I thought and this can always be kind of squadron leader or something like that I don't know I definitely would think would prefer the colours to be the other way around I still like it it's still a spaceship I mean who doesn't like spaceships so just for completeness that's the full scale roof um, so that's where that would sit I have got a couple more videos that I've actually planned to do I'm going to try and get to, uh, to have more of a drum beat of getting videos out even if it's just a drum beat I am at the moment trying to release a lot more models as well so if I keep up the uh, uh, the idea that every model has a video then that could be one way to, to keep those going um, but I have got another couple of ideas as I say so certainly I'm going to do a video featuring the passionate purple from 3d print works as uh, a I have that on the, the Master's Build refill and as I was saying I've, done, I've already done a few prints in that so I, I'll, I'll do a feature I'm not going to do a, a review of the filament I don't really do reviews um, I'm not going to go into any technical details or anything like that I'm just going to show the prints that I've, that I've done with it and uh, give my thoughts on the Master's Build um, refill concept uh, as it as it comes from uh, from them. Uh, I've got another one, another video planned that I, I'm not going to go into great detail about, but it's focused on on a particular designer, and uh, I just wanted to get quite a few prints of theirs done so that I could uh, talk about that. And I've also even got a print from uh, my pal Tom um, to to join in that collection. So. Um, so that one um, I'm looking forward to doing uh, as well, That's, that should be uh, uh, a fun one just to get out of the way and um, <laughs> get all those prints done. Overall I'm just going to be trying to get more designs out as well as I say. That's uh, something that uh, I really enjoy and uh, I want to get a bit more time to do. Hopefully when I move house I'll have a bit more space and a bit, you know, things will feel a bit easier. and. A bit more conducive to creativeness I guess um, uh, it just been uh, struggling in here at the moment to find the space and and the time to to actually get on and, and transfer all these uh, designs that had exploded in my head onto uh, into uh, CAD models okay so all that remains is me to thank you for listening to me ramble on for so long and um, I, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and I would really appreciate it if you uh, subscribed if you want to see more content like this. As I say, I'm, uh, I'm going to do my best to, to get more videos out. So thanks a lot for watching, guys.